We're at 72nd Avenue, uh, Pine Crest, South Miami, uh, doing an inspection on a seawall embankment. And uh, we're going to show all the areas that are of concern, check the soft spots, and show voids underneath the existing uh, riprap seawall. Uh, this embankment is uh, got about uh, 35 to 40 degree decline from uh, the top of the embankment to the seawall to the top of the riprap seawall you can see here this was a, a retaining wall that was not secured and therefore it collapsed the remaining parts of it are in the water looking at the uh, condition of the riprap bags you can see there's many points of erosion uh, no weeping drainage holes were left you can see the live rebar here and here and you can see how big the void is I could stick my prong in about four feet, three feet, and uh, there's many soft spots behind right there. You can see how far my prong is going in. So there's, there's a lot of erosion happening right here on the embankment. Uh, as you can see, the angle of the grade here is much steeper, and the plants are very thick. So the property is sitting on a canal that has good indigenous coral rock and um, you can see here another point of erosion right underneath right there is a big void this entire length of the seawall basically has the same condition uh, of uh, look at that see that it's about four foot cavity here there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, fill work done here once the bottom part is stained and uh, weeping drainage holes are created for the property. Again, very large void underneath the entire length of the riprap row. It's still standing. It's, it hasn't collapsed yet, but that's just uh, a matter of time before that happens as it's all suspended just on the rebar right now. And the rebar is corroding. Um, you can see again, and uh, there's another. You can see the soft spots here. You can see how the plants just sunk here, and and there's just it's just a void behind the area. Uh, again, the entire bottom here is open, and uh, nothing stopping the erosion from coming from underneath the wall around the step area. We have similar condition, also needs to be contained. Um, right there you can see there's a big void. The steps are still sound because they're laying on, a, on the foundation of uh, concrete filled riprap bags. Again here, uh, in order to do any kind of work on a seawall, all this uh, <coughs> retaining wall the, needs to be removed from site broken and removed and uh, again the, all these banana plants over here there's a lot of soft areas right behind the seawall and again very large voids underneath nothing containing uh, the erosion this is a pipe a pump pipe I guess for irrigation um, another broken piece of the retaining wall. Whoever construct, constructed the retaining wall didn't think he needs to anchor it to the riprap bag. Uh, and uh, therefore, created this little collapse. Again, the entire area has, um, has to be Retaining wall has to be removed. The collapsed retaining wall has to be removed, and the entire lower embankment has to be shored. Uh, there's quite a lot of erosion on the top side part of the seawall. You can see right here. We're right on the um, north border of the property, and you can see this big holes here behind the banana plants. Uh, giving you a long view shot. 
lapse retaining wall and the condition of the uh, long shot of the embankment. I'm going to climb up and go behind the mountain and so there's a soft spot right here. See how my foot is disappearing there? Uh, really hope there's no big spiders here. I don't like spiders. But it goes with the business. So again here, between the banana plants, see big voids over here. Right behind the seawall. There's soft spots. So this entire area basically has to be all these plants should be at least cleaned, if not removed. So uh, fill could be put behind the areas that are right here. There's very soft spot I'm stepping on. I'm falling in about two feet. Very hard to see here because we're inside this jungle bananas. Okay, let's see here. You can see right there. in there, the sea wall. So there's a lot of uh, areas that fall and, and you can see the property um, right here. The grass is very close. The distance is about four feet or maybe five feet between the uh, chain link fence and the retaining wall or the riprap wall. Again, behind the wall, look out, look, 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 see, that's a five foot stainless, just went in without any effort, so, drainage must be created for this property because it's sitting about six feet on top of the canal and all this water pressure is creating this erosion. Okay, we're out of the jungle, thank God, no snakes or spiders. Okay, so now we're at the south part from the steps and then walk and I'll just show you soft big hole put my foot in there again big hole we just showed it to you earlier but now we're in the top you can see the whole thing whoa see look at that just stepped on it and look at the hole that was created um, again here you can see I don't want to put my foot in there because it's not useful Right here, see how deep, it, it's completely hollow here. This entire part of the embankment is, uh, is hollow. Following direction is south. Again, look at that, look at the size of this hole. You can see, actually, you can see the light coming through. It's completely open, there's nothing supporting the the riprap wall as well, which is, you know, which means that it's just a matter of time before the whole thing collapses because there's nothing backing it up. And uh, again here, really, really big erosion. Again, very, very large hole. Look at that. I, mean, I don't want to even step here because I'm going to hold. So I'm going to go stay. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to stop here because of the vegetation. I cannot see and you can see how far I'm sunk here. So. This entire area is about 40, 50 feet, maybe up to 80 feet, is uh, really in need of uh, fill and shoring up the seawall because this erosion is just gonna get worse with the rains. And uh, it's also recommended to hook up the uh, storm drains of the house to pipes it would lead all the water from the surface area of the roof directly to the canal and not to the property that creates hydraulic pressure. Um, that is the main issues with this uh, embankment. This seawall survey was conducted by Simi Dive on May 9, 2014 in beautiful South Florida.